In this short video, I will show you how to use the sticky header feature by using the green shift plugin. As I'm scrolling down, the background color and the text changes its color turning to my custom colors. The header design also responds to screen size, thus the effect is not applied in smaller mobile devices. So if you're ready, let's get into this. Welcome to my YouTube channel, my name is Natalie, a channel dedicated to sharing knowledge about WordPress websites. As for the tools I'm using, I have already installed the Green Shift plugin and the new Green Shift theme and WordPress version 611. Sticky Header, also known as a fixed header, is a smart navigation feature. When done appropriately, the sticky header on your WordPress website allows users to quickly access the navigation menu and other elements you may have without scrolling up to the top of the page. This surely provides us time saving and the good navigation experiences for your users. Here are the easy steps to achieve this effect. First, select the editor from your WordPress dashboard as we are going to editing the header template within the Gutenberg full site editing. Template parts header. I always uh, like to work with the list view open so you easily understand what I'm doing. So select the first group blocks and from the right sidebar, look up the advanced section, which is located at the bottom. Advanced. Here it is. Then turn on this option, stick it to head on scroll. Underneath, we can determine the background color replacement and the text color as well whenever your user scrolls down. So I am assigning my new colors, for instance, this light blue color and this black color for my text font. Additionally, you can also set it below your responsive settings. For instance, in my case, I want to hide on mobile. So toggle on to hide on mobile and save it. Click twice, checking now in incognito mode view. So as am I scrolling down the background uh, color and the text changes it to the colors I have defined. The header design also responds to screen size. So with the iPad Air everything is just the same as the, in the desktop view. And now let's try with a smaller device like this one and it should be hidden. All right. Now you can replicate this for your clients' websites or in your own website. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.